well, well, well. The day has finally come. The channel that we have watched for four years finally has its very own movie. My Story Animated, also known as MSA, has a movie! Woo! Ellie the Hacker, MSA first mini movie, 15 million views, 34 minutes! I need to stop doing that voice. We are looking at Ellie the Hacker, the first My Story Animated movie. What does that mean? That means it's a 34 minute long video and it's all one story. Now, I think the thumbnail for this is absolutely terrible. I don't know what happened here, but this, I do not want to click on this thumbnail. I just have to. All right, all right, all right. Are we serious here? Are we serious about this? Are you joining me? Are we about to watch the MSA movie for real? Because I am. And you know what that means? friends. If we're watching MSA, you know what time it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say it right now. Theme song. Animations, animations, it kind of feels like I'm on vacation. When I see a bit from MSA about a girl who's gone completely insane. But we'll still laugh and scream and cry and be glad that we don't have their lives. So come along, enjoy the ride, and let's watch some MSA tonight. My thumbs flew over the controller at lightning speed as I battled my coworker Andy while everyone else him, cheered Andy. from the sides. How did you get that level up? Where have you learned these moves? From the deep dark corners of the internet, my friend. And I'm about to own your butt. With that, I unleashed my final secret move and Come on, blew get him, up Andy. the enemy. Get up. You're a loser, I'm a winner, your mama's buying me chicken dinner. Suddenly, there was pin drop silence, and I turned around to face the Dragon Store Manager. The Dragon AKA Store! Andy's mom. You have 10 seconds to clear up this mess and get back to your jobs. Oh. Or. You're on fire! Okay, Andy's mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, okay, okay, wait a minute. So, because this is like a movie, it's longer, they aren't just like, Hi, I'm Mandy, and I, and, and this is my story. So I was blah, blah, blah. They just gave us like a proper scene. We might, this might just be in the form of scenes. Like an actual movie. Let's go! Let's go! Are there ninjas in that? What on earth? Hi, my name's Ellie. I'm a computer expert, gamer, hacker, oh. and overall top-notch. She's in a game. I led a very exciting life in the virtual realm, but in the real world, my life Whoa, was pretty average. I'm so, so one excited! Day, everything changed. Yeah, we say that a lot around here, don't we? But before I continue, please like and subscribe. Yep, yep, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in on this premise. Let's go. I'm booping that like button. You guys, make sure you're subscribed to MSA. And if you could boop the like button for me while we're here, just real quick, boop the like button for me. If you're not subscribed, please boop that button as well. I am so excited for this premise. Let's go. Oh. But before I continue, please like and subscribe subscribe. Ever since I was a kid, I was obsessed with computers. Weren't we and by all? the time I was 12, I was writing code, developing software, and even doing some basic hacking. And wow. I was addicted to video games. I Heck thought man. I was cool. But that was not a popular opinion. By the time I reached high school, I was pretty much used to having a seat at the outcast table. And things weren't much different at home. I was raised by my single mom, who was my okay. polar opposite. She was a social butterfly who loved throwing lavish parties for her wealthy friends and was always trying to set me up with her sons. A nightmare. Okay, so even when we're in a movie, we can't escape that the main character has at least one rich parent. Fine. Fine, MSA, if you're gonna give us this incredible story, fine. Do your rich kid thing again. Fine. I will accept it. Always trying to set me up with her sons. A nightmare. Mom, can I go to my room? I ate too many dumplings earlier. I don't feel so good. Hey, when that you're happens. You're not fooling me, Ellie. See that boy over there? He's single and very rich. Go oh. down. That boy played football at my school, and he was surrounded by some popular girls. And I walked over. Okay. Hi, uh... I, uh, oh god, save yourselves. Then I threw up all over oh, the boy man. and the head cheerleader. Well, that helps. That helps. Now you don't have to talk to that dingus that your mom wanted you to talk to. You literally just helped yourself, you know? If you didn't have it in you to be like, no, I will not talk to that dingus, your body made it so that you can't talk to that dingus. So we're all good. Then I threw up all over the boy and the head cheerleader. Of course, I was a laughing stock in school Ugh. the next day. 
and I started hiding out in the library. Oh. One day, I was playing a game when I got an invite to a virtual treasure hunt with a huge cash prize. The disclaimer read, only super smart, hardcore gamers need apply. Oh, that's like, me. That's me. That's me. Hardcore gamers only. Oh, is this Persona? Is this a little bit of Persona 5 inspiration? Very cool. Only real gamers, people. Only real gamers. You think if you're some kind of... Clash of Clans playing casual, casual. You can join our gaming club. <laughs> All right, hardcore gamers only. It was like someone was describing me. I breezed through each challenge, Boom. but when I got to the last level, my computer suddenly froze, and then it became lifeless. Oh no! no. But this you got was hacked. just the beginning of a series of unfortunate events. Soon after my 18th birthday, mom suddenly fell really sick. The doctors ran a million tests and gave her expensive treatments, but oh, nothing no. was working. And we had a oh, ton of no. medical bills we couldn't pay the because hacking. mom's credit comes cards in. were all overdrawn. We're poor and I'm sick. Find a rich man so you can have a good life. How am I supposed to do that? Boys don't even notice me. Wait. We're poor. F find a rich man. Oh a rich my man. gosh. Find my daughter. What did I say? Well, I, oh my gosh, the way she was closing her eyes, I thought those were her final words. I thought MSA was really gonna make this character's final words in their life be, find a rich man. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would not be okay with that. I would not be okay with that. A rich man, find my daughter. What did I say? Daughter, find rich, my man? I mean, um... <laughs> Fine. Uh, no, rich she's gonna hack to get the money. And then my mom slipped into a coma. My life oh! turned around. Oh! When I well, they, okay, so they didn't do it, but they pretty much did. They pretty. Are you kidding me? And they say, I was about to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, no. All right, all right. Mom slipped into a coma. My life turned around 180 degrees. I had no idea when mom would be okay. I was drowning in debt. My Hacking. grades were suffering. And I felt so alone. But then one the day, as I was leaving my work shift, a strange man came running to me and shoved a device in my hand, then fled the scene. Shoved a device You've been selected for a top secret mission. This message will self-destruct in 30 go. seconds. I read the Throw details the fast window. and make a ton of money and work with computers and security systems all day. Hacking. Was this for real? My life was at rock bottom anyway. So it was worth finding out. Let's go. I accepted, and a second before the time ran out, I tossed the device into the air, is and it, it exploded. Really? Is it what really? in the Mission oh, Impossible? Man. What in the Mission Impossible? No, what in the Matrix, brother? What in the... Actually, maybe... I, I haven't seen enough Mission Impossibles, but I have seen the Matrix. And that's what that felt like for me. You get a call, and it's like, You don't know me, but you have to trust me. Get up and walk across the uh, balcony. But yeah, okay, so she's gonna start hacking. I, I don't know if she'll be hacking for the good guys or the bad guys. That's... That's what we have to find out. I tossed the device into the air and it exploded. What in the Mission Impossible? And the next day, I was whisked away in a private jet Whoa. to a state-of-the-art facility with a dozen computer geeks. All day, we worked on hacking software, computer codes, and sophisticated simulations. Wow. We were given board and lodging too. And for the first time, I was with people I had something in common with. Other people with blue hair. <laughs> I guess, wait, I can't be talking smack, look at me. I was about to <laughs> be like, the other people who dyed their hair navy blue. But then I realized, what am I doing? I can't make fun of this chick. I can't make fun of her. I'm a vampire now. All right, let's carry on. Common with, a week later, I was busy working at my desk when this guy a few years older than me walked in and I felt like the Matrix had glitched. Like I there was Ellie is. in a parallel dimension where it was possible for Ellie to fall in love with a Ooh. boy at first sight. I hope it's Andy. He was like a young Keanu Reeves, but with spectacles. So hot. Okay, uh. they, first, they, they miss their actual opportunity to mention the Matrix, and then they say, it's like the Matrix is glitched, and then Keanu Reeves, MSA, stop playing with me. Stop teasing me with something, and then doing it right after. So hot. I don't remember the part where I floated away from my seat, but suddenly, I found myself standing in front of him. I hope it's Andy. Can I help you? Uh, maybe I can help you. I'm very helpful. Help me help you. What? What? Sorry, let me, ow. I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> uh, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Smelly. I mean, Ellie. Ellie! In short, for Eleanor, or Elena, or Elaine. I extended my hand, and as he shook it, I screamed. 
What? What happened? Oh, it's not your fault. Oh, it's an android. It's an android. No, not really. Wait, okay, so, uh, wait. I'm gonna make a quick prediction. I'm not gonna make a prediction. No, I'm, I'm gonna predict that that is not true. I'm gonna wow. anti-predict. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I was like, oh, what if this guy turns out to be Andy from the beginning with that she defeated in the, ga the gaming contest? But that would make no sense because they only talked about him for like literally eight seconds. So there would be no point in them doing that. So I was going to predict that and then I an I unpredicted it. So that was an unprediction, just so you know. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I predict that that will not happen. Oh, it's not your fault. That was just a very firm handshake and I have a very low threshold for pain. Aww. Like, really? I once fainted when an apple fell from a tree and hit my head. All right, get on it wasn't with even it. a hard apple. Like, it was rotten and squishy, but he walked away while I was still talking. Okay. That's the head of the company, girl. Oh, my gigabytes. This demigod was my boss? No hacker sounds like that. Let's keep it real. No hacker sounds like that. That's the head of the company, girl. Oh. Company girl. No oh. hacker talks with that much sass. It's never ha it's never happened. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh my gigabytes. This demigod was my boss? Oh, His name no. was Liam Finch. Liam he could Finch! Any problem, crack any code, and he looked amazing while doing it. I had such a giant, stupid crush on him, uh -huh. and I couldn't help recalling mom's words about finding a rich man Liam for Finch. a better life. Liam looked no, and No, get smelled rich on expensive. your own terms. I had to get him to ask me out, and I turned to Ask Brain 2 for helpful tips. The next day, I turned up to work in a tight, <sighs> short dress. And I'd made sure to apply plenty of tanning lotion to look like those gorgeous models I'd seen online. What? All eyes were on me, and I was sure to have the same effect on Liam. Before we start this meeting, I have to ask Emmy. No, dude, no. <laughs> this guy looks, he, this guy has never seen the sun before. Pretending you have a suntan, he's what? not gonna care. <laughs> You're doing all these things. This guy's a computer guy. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. If anything, like remove, like become even less tanned than before for this guy. He wants to know that you have never left the comfort of your computer in your life. That's what this dude is looking for. Before we start this meeting, I have to ask Emmy, are you having a reaction to something? Emmy, speak Emmy. up, whoever it's you Ellie. are. The boss That's is asking her. you something. Oh, wait, you meant uh, me. It's Ellie. <laughs> and uh, no, I I'm good. I think you should go to the bathroom. There's some anti-allergy medicine in the oh first aid Oh my gosh! This wasn't the reaction I'd expected. I told but when you! when I looked at myself in the mirror, I screamed. The tanning lotion had turned oh. so orange, I looked like a radioactive oh, okay. carrot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next day, I came to work wearing huge fake eyelashes. Oh, but those no. stupid things made my eyes feel heavy, and I couldn't stop blinking. Later in the cafeteria, one of my coworkers came up to me as I waited in the lunch line, and he had some ketchup on his upper lip. Hey, Ellie. Uh, that looks like Andy I saw from the you beginning. in the meeting today. Um, okay. I saw you too, buddy. Hey. But first, you got something right here. Out of nowhere. No, he. The guy oh, pulled me no! loose and planted a moist oh! face on my lips. I pushed him away and punched him hard. Okay, so that's where the. I told you. I was right to think this was a horrendous thumbnail. An absolutely horrific thumbnail to use. I was right. Everything else in this animation has looked so much cooler than this. Yeah, literally the worst. Just the worst look they could have done. This is the worst. I pushed him away and Get punched him, him hard. Get him. Ellie, what the heck? First you keep winking at me all through the meeting. What? And then you ask me to kiss you, and then you hit what? me? What? Excuse me, what? He kicked up a huge fuss to Liam about being what? assaulted, and then he Are you quit. kidding me? That was one of our best coders, and you've made him leave. Well, he this hit me got first. real. Like, I mean, he was hitting on me, and it was gross. Are you sure? Why would anyone want to hit on you? Um, what? Why wouldn't anyone want to do that? But Liam just walked away without replying. Oh my gosh. All the guys in this story are horrible. That, first of all, that first bit got more real than I thought it would. And now this dude talking like that? That's, this is absurd. Absurd. But Liam just walked away without replying. Forget Liam. A couple Liam. of days later, Liam threw a small farewell party for his secretary, Jessica. She was so annoyingly model-like, and I couldn't be happier to see her leave. Hey, Jesse, I'm really sad you're leaving. Want me to help you pack? I'm very helpful. Uh, wait, what are wait. you doing? Isn't that a company paperweight? No, it's mine. I brought it from home. 
I'm pretty sure it belongs to the oh, office. Oh, no. Can but you hey, stop? it's just a paperweight. Are you calling me a thief? What? Why don't I just take that from you? We won't Ellie, mention this to Ellie, mind anyone. your own business. Give it back to me, you witch. It's not yours, Jesse. You're robbing okay, the boss Okay, everyone's line. insane. As we Good both job. pulled at the paperweight, I suddenly lost my balance and let go. And it went what's flying inside? What's straight inside? into Jessica's perfect fake nose. Emmy, what's the matter with you? Do you think I care if my secretary takes a useless paperweight from the office? Yeah, I was just I know, trying to do the right? right thing, sir. The right thing would be to stop injuring my employees. Wait, okay, wait. So was that just a, a guy's... Was that just her causing a ruckus to get a meeting with Liam? Because what just transpired there with them fighting over the paperweight was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Like, it is not worth getting into a fight over that. In Ellie, Liam's already being a jerk to you. Why do you care that this person's taking a paperweight? Why on earth would you- Ellie, oh my gosh. Down bad. Ellie's down bad. To stop injuring my employees. The next morning, I gave myself a pep talk in the staff room before work. Okay, the last few days have been bad, uh -huh. Ellie. But today's a new day to show everyone what a cool, brilliant chick you are. Just do your you job. Got this girl. Now show yourself some self-love. I kissed my reflection, but when I opened my eyes, I was horrified to see Liam standing behind me. Can you please keep things professional yeah. and practice your makeout skills in private? Which I might add, need a substantial amount of work. What? Yes. What? No, 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 that's not what it was. Oh, God. This was that's almost as ridiculous. bad as the day Mom went into a coma. The next day, while I was busy coding, I couldn't help thinking about my makeout skills. I turned to my trusty advisor, Google. Are but when you I opened up me? the first link, some kind of virus popped up on everyone's screens. Your system is under attack and will be immediately Get destroyed. Get Ellie. Goodbye. And then every screen went blank. There was a wave of shocked silence across the room. Who the heck opened an insecure link? Okay, okay, so Ellie's been down bad, right? She's making a lot of bad decisions. These days just aren't seeming to go right. What's the one thing we could do to help? Oh, I don't know. Erase everybody's systems and ruin several years worth of work. Just fire her. If, if, if she does that and she keeps her job, then this story is cuckoo for Cocoa Pubs, okay? You have to fire the person. You have to, you have to. Who the heck opened an insecure link? I felt about as small as an ant. I am so sorry, Liam. It was a, oh a small gosh. error of judgment. Small error? Your small error may have catastrophic consequences for our national security. Sorry, what? I thought this was a private security company. I recruited people I believed I could train to be the very best. Because every code we write and every firewall we construct has massive importance. But you've oh. caused a major breach. And now gonna... I have to fix your mess. And I was clearly wrong about you. You don't belong here. Pack your things. You're going home tomorrow morning. Makes sense. And it's not Liam. It's Mr. Finch. Oh! I felt like I'd been punched in the stomach. This place was the most at home I'd ever felt. And really? I really screwed things up. The next one. Really? Based on everything so far. Really? That's the most at home you've ever felt? But okay, this also gets me thinking. Why would there be a system in place where all of your computer's files get deleted immediately? Especially at a literal cybersecurity headquarters. You'd think you have one job as a cybersecurity company, and that would probably be to have your cyber secure. You would think, but apparently Liam and his company have found a way to fail their one job. Ellie's still stupid. Ellie's still stupid, but Liam's stupid too. They're all, I, man, I'm not on anyone's team right now. And I'd really screwed things up. The next morning, I was going to the office to turn in my employee card. When I stopped short, the building had been sealed and was surrounded by police officers and my coworkers were being arrested. Wow. I slipped away quickly, my heart racing. What the heck was going on? The only thing I could think of was finding Liam. If he hadn't been arrested already, too. I made my way to his place and rang the buzzer a few times, but no one answered. Then I overrode the code of the security lock, and the door clicked open. I'd just taken a few steps in job, when Liam. someone leapt at me and pushed me to the ground. Liam. And I found Liam on top of me with a chopstick. Emmy, how did you get in? 
And You're why really do you know where I job, live? Liam. It's a top secret location. We we sell that lock at the store where I worked at before, so I'm very familiar with the software. And I uh hacked your smartwatch to track your whereabouts a few weeks ago. Wait, Ellie, oh my gosh, maybe you are better at hacking than I thought. You can fix this mess. Okay, that there's my prediction time. There's my prediction time. Now I have a prediction. That. Hacked your smartwatch to track your whereabouts a few weeks ago? Just for fun, I swear. See, smartwatches aren't actually that smart. They should be kind of called dumb watches. <laughs> also, were you gonna poke my eye out with a chopstick? Get up. Why are you even here? Because I went to the office and everyone was getting arrested. Well, it's all your fault. Yep. What? Since our security systems were down after you downloaded that virus, something invaluable was stolen from us last night. And now we're all in big trouble. And you and have I to have fix to go it, into hiding. Ellie. You you're leaving? Will I ever see you again? Unlikely. You've ruined everything. Uh -huh. Just go home. Look, Mr. Finch, this is ridiculous. There are plenty of problems in your security system that I've been studying for the past few weeks, and someone would have figured those out sooner or later anyway. So stop blaming me, and please tell me what's going on. You make also, a good point, but why you is it so hard for a genius like fault. you to remember that my name is Ellie? Ellie? Liam looked surprised at my outburst, and just as he was about to speak, we heard cars screeching outside. The police are here for me. I gotta go. Okay. Whoa, whoa, wait. I'm coming with you. I can't survive jail or torture. I told you, I have a very low threshold for pain. Oh, God. Just shut up. Yeah, shut up, Ellie. He grabbed my hand and led me to the kitchen, where he opened a trap door in the floor and started whoa. climbing down, and I followed dark, this narrow This is spaces. cyber world. <laughs> dark, narrow spaces. Okay, it's his cyber dungeon. He's, they're going into a cyber dungeon. She's gonna get the VR goggles. She is now going to fight back against the hack as Ellie the hacker. Here we go. And I followed dark, narrow spaces. I hate dark, narrow spaces. I'll die if a mouse jumps on me. We ran through an yeah, underground so passageway, horrible. climbed up another ladder and out of a gutter hole and onto a main street several blocks away. Liam dashed towards a car and we jumped in, but just as we were driving off, several police cars came to a stop oh, in boy. front of us. Wow, we managed to escape for all of two minutes. I was wrong, by the way. Okay, Mr. Finch, Liam, whatever. If I never see you again, I just want to say that you're the most beautiful. Suddenly, Liam hit the pedal hard and started driving in reverse like a maniac. Wow. Oh my god, what are you doing? I'm too young to die. I've spent all my are life behind in the computer virtual screens. World now? I haven't seen the world. I've never even been on a beach. You know what? I'll go to jail. You can drop me off anywhere convenient. This is getting intense. Liam took a sharp turn into a street, avoiding a truck by half an inch. He turned the car around 180 degrees what and started on driving Earth? even faster. I saw two black cars hot on her tail. Emmy, I need you to get a freaking grip and tell me the coordinates of the city's main bridge. What? You're going to be jumping off of it. What? You can swim. Right? MSA, you of crazy. Of course I can't swim. You crazy, I'm MSA. Of water. That's why I've never been to a beach. We're not jumping off any bridge, you psycho. Do it. Can you please do what I'm saying and just trust me? There's a life jacket under the seat. Strap that on and find me the bridge. Now. With if you have fingers, life jackets ready, you think you would know where the, the bridge GPS. is. Undo your seatbelt, and when I say go, open the car door. Your seat will automatically eject, Ejected. and you will land in the water. Don't panic. Okay, Liam! Liam, if you are this prepared for a situation like this, if you are this prepared, or you have life jackets, and a seat ejector to send you flying into the ocean. You know where the bridge is, Liam. If you if you have all of these things in check and you don't know where the bridge is, something is seriously wrong with you. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it. Your seat will automatically eject and you'll land in the water. Don't panic. You're wearing a life vest and I'll get to you quickly. You ready? Yep. Open the sunroof, fire I've never her been out. Less ready for anything in my life. You got this. Okay Ellie. then, go. Liam swerved the car off the bridge and into Why? the air. My seat ejected immediately, and I landed head first into the water. Before I could panic completely, Liam swam over to me swiftly, oh grabbed gosh. me by the waist, and pulled me onto the shore. We ran down some docks where Liam found an unlocked car and we sped away in it. Are you I was kidding too me? shocked to even speak anymore. Liam drove us out of the city to some abandoned warehouse where we were let in by an elegant older oh, woman. Oh, here we go. Hello, Agent Skywalker. 
I was expecting you to be alone. So was I. Why? Wow! Uh, trust me, this wasn't part of the plan. All right, all right, I've had enough. Can you tell me what's going on, Agent Skywalker? Agent Skywalker. Nobody who calls himself Agent Skywalker it wants a girl who looks like they've ever been in the sun before, Ellie. I'm telling you, I I, I was right about, if, if nothing else, I was right about this. This dude does not want anything to do with someone who puts tanning lotion on themselves, so tanning oil, tan, fake tan. All right, all right, I've had enough. Can you tell me what's going on, Agent Skywalker? Liam finally told me that he was a CIA agent who had been a assigned CIA the task agent. of recruiting a special security team to protect the government databases and national secrets. But and there's another CIA agent who has gone rogue, and yesterday, she broke into our facility and stole the key to a new weapon the government's developing. And she's framed me for the theft. Now everyone thinks I'm a traitor. Oh, Luckily, no. the key's heavily encrypted, but someone will break the code Ellie, soon, you and I have to code. get it back before they do. It's the only way to clear my name. That's why I couldn't let myself get arrested. And Agatha here's an old friend. She's the only one I can trust right now. So, what's the next plan of action? Hack in. I have a fairly good you idea where this. the rogue agent took that key. So I'm going there, and you will stay here. Look. I can hardly believe I'm saying this but after let me the help horrible you. day I've had, but I think you should take me with you. I'm a really good coder and hacker, and I can help. I'm very helpful, actually. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Ellie, you had months at the job to prove that you are competent. You had months, and you you failed. You failed to do that. You literally messed everything up. So now, at this point, you don't tell me, I am a good hacker, I'm good. I'm a good person to have around. You nope. have proven that that is not true, okay? I'm a really good coder and hacker, and I can help. I'm very helpful, actually. Uh -huh. I just haven't had a chance to- Okay, then, let's go. Okay. What, now? I thought you'd offer me some food first, and I wouldn't- Ellie, like shut up! Now! Wait, Agent Skywalker, aren't you forgetting something? What? You know, the, the thing. thing? Agatha, I really don't have time for riddles, so just say it. Okay, you're forgetting your lucky underwear from your Star Wars collection, oh. the one you always wear before an important mission. I looked at Liam's face and burst out laughing. No! <laughs> no one was supposed <laughs> to know lucky that. Underwear? Oh my god. Oh jeez, I think They're I peed my pants. <laughs> Oops. I really did. You um, need new can underwear I get now. Get some underwear too, please. No one was supposed to know about my stinky underwear. <laughs> No one was supposed to know about my stinky underwear. I can't believe this is happening. Agatha, why did you do this? Can I get some underwear too, please? According to Liam, the key was in a highly secure facility inside a toothpaste factory. Of course. The only way we could get in was to wear employee uniforms and hide in the back of one of the company trucks taking some supplies inside. Dark, confined spaces. I hate dark, confined spaces. When why is she putting on the VR goggles? Yourself? Sure. Why don't you help me do that? Why was Agatha calling you Agent Skywalker? Because of your lucky underwear? It's just one of my many names. Is Liam your real name? No. No. So what is your oh, real name? Oh, it's gonna name? be something like super, like way cooler, like way more like tough, way more like I'm a super hacker. My name is Xanthan. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't be a good uh, secret agent if he told her his real name right then and there. So probably chill. Is Liam your real name? No. So what is your real name? I'm obviously not gonna tell you. Boom. Okay then, do you tell your girlfriends your real name? Chill. Depends. I haven't dated in a while. This is not the time! Especially after what happened with the last one. This is not Why? the time! What happened? None of your business. Let me guess, she couldn't put up with your cold heart anymore? Or oh, she found no. out you're lying about your identity and thought you're a cheater. Oh, oh no, wait, I've got it. Some enemy of yours killed her. <laughs> Liam went quiet and my heart suddenly sank. Oh my God, no, she really died? Uh, I couldn't save her, Ellie. I'm sorry, Liam. I'm Ellie! so sorry. That's so tragic. And it also explains why you're a cold-hearted robot now. I mean, this kind of stuff changes a person. <laughs> oh Jeez, my gosh! So 
I'm a CIA agent. I'm trained to convincingly lie about oh, anything. Oh, he got me. That was a joke? They got me. Oh, man, they've been throwing me for a loop. Oh, they're throwing me for a loop right now. MSA, MSA, shout out. Shout out MSA. That was some excellent stuff. I, I fell for it too. I fell for it too. I must be some kind of sucker. That was a joke? Dude, that's just mean. Well, no, if you I still want the sob joking. story, she did betray me. My ex is the rogue agent, what? and she's the one who's stolen the key and framed me. What? Are you happy now? Oh, wow. I was That's kidding about lot. that, too. <laughs> so, how do you feel about it? Like, I just want you to be quiet now. I silently processed everything I'd just heard, but after a few minutes, I started feeling anxious again. I wish I was special. So very special. I'm a but creep. I'm a creep. Worst singer of all time. I'm a weirdo. What am I I'm doing, doing here? here? I don't belong here. Please, I want you to know this. When I'm not around. Please, please stop. You're sucking up the limited oxygen in here. You're not the boss of me. Well, you were, but then you fired me, remember? And since you won't talk to me, I'm gonna sing. How are you gonna make me shut up, huh? I can Do think it. of Let's at least one more. way. Suddenly, Liam moved closer and put his hands on my face. Are you? Oh my god, Can was you he about to kiss no. me? No, no. Just then, the truck jolted to a halt and Liam pushed me away. Rude. If that happened... I would be just livid. The uh, livid. If both characters are trying to go in for a smooch with a person who never said they were okay with doing that, even though yes, we know Ellie does want it. You you can't do that. There's been no sort of conversation to show that these two are mutually interested. We already had the other guy do that. There's some there's some bad stuff in this. There's some bad stuff in this one. The truck jolted to a halt and Liam pushed me away. Rude. We quietly slipped out and made our way to the entrance. We scanned the fake IDs Agatha had given us and we were inside the building. Liam had the building's blueprints and he led the way to the surveillance room. We peeked inside okay. to see a security guard observing the screens and Liam quietly crept up to him. Just then, okay. my nose started itching like crazy and I tried uh, desperately yeah. not to sneeze. Oh no. The guard turned around and Liam punched him hard in the face yeah, and stabbed you gotta, him with you a gotta tranquilizer. Go action mode. <gasps> Why do you look like you're gonna be sick? I've only put him to sleep. This is what happens in all the games. You fail the stealth portion, it turns into action portion. That's what happened right there. I considered having Metal Gear Solid be the game that plays. And I was like, no, nah, it probably wouldn't relate, but it totally relates. Why do you look like you're gonna be sick? I've only put him to sleep. Oh, I know. I'm just terrified of needles. I think I told you, I have... Yeah, yeah, a, a low very tongue. low threshold, threshold for pain. pain. I remember. Okay, we gotta check all the rooms in this place. There's gotta be a team working hard to decode that key. We scanned all the screens, but it seemed like there was hardly anyone in the building. Just then, I spotted an empty room with only a glass case in the center. Liam, do you think the key's in that vault? Yeah, it looks like it. Listen, Ellie, I need you to hack into their system and find out whatever you can about the security measures in that right. vault. I'm gonna be by the door to keep an eye out. You got it. So, okay, at the beginning of this video, she was like, I lead a crazy life in the virtual world. I really thought she was gonna be goggled up flying through Cyber City by this point. I'ma keep it real. I'ma keep it real. I thought that's what was gonna happen. Maybe something like that still could happen, but I was expecting her fighting crime, cyberpunk style, by this point. And that ain't happening. <sighs> okay, okay. I hope she gets the key. I'm gonna be by the door to keep an eye out. You got it. I was totally lost in my work when suddenly my eyes flitted to one of the screens. Huh. Um, Liam, what did you say your ex-girlfriend's looks like? Totally I don't hot. think I said anything. Would you say she's a skinny supermodel type with lovely blonde hair, a perfect jawline, and very, very long legs? Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, if we don't scram out of here in the next three minutes, 
I think you're about to be reunited with your ex. Wait She's a coming minute. this way. Liam grabbed my hand. And wait a minute. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. A, a new prediction. This ex, the hacker, is the same person who undercover was working as a secretary or whatever. The one who was stealing the paperweight. That was her in disguise. And she got all of the... She broke into all the cybersecurity and stuff because she was his secretary and figured all that stuff out. Boom, boom, boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Let's go. I think you're about to be reunited with your ex. She's coming this way. Liam grabbed my hand and we ran out and down the corridor like crazy. Suddenly, security alarms started blaring all over the building. I guess she found the unconscious guard in the surveillance room. Sounds about Ellie, right. Why have you stopped running? I I'm I so have a low tolerance for running. Breath. A low threshold for I'm running. I'm a computer person. On my butt all day. Not used to yep. running. That's what you wanted, Liam. Suddenly, Liam swept me up like a sack of potatoes, flung me over his shoulder, and started Turns running out again. Actually ripped. All the entrances were being sealed, and Liam managed to get through the last one seconds before it slammed shut. We went rolling onto the ground, then got up quickly and sprinted as some guards chased us. As soon as we got outside the gates, a car screeched to a stop in front of us. Get in! Hurry! Agatha, save us. Yet another narrow escape. Was the mission successful? Far from it. We didn't manage to get the information we needed to break into the vault where the key's being kept. What are you talking about? I downloaded every single piece of information on their system in this flash drive. This one. Oh! No, no, not this one either. It's the neon green one. It's my favorite. Aha! Uh -huh, here you go. What? Oh my god, Ellie. You're amazing! Yo, chill, chill! Hug, and I was so startled that I didn't even hug him back. I wanted to kick myself for this wasted opportunity. And when we got back to the safe house, I crashed onto my bed like a malfunctioned hard drive. Okay, so she downloaded every piece of information in their systems. What does that mean? It's not the super secret thing. They wouldn't have put the super secret thing into the system, would they? Is their cybersecurity not secure and everything's on their system? Clearly, they didn't, like, solve everything yet. So what is the value? Are, can now they find the other thing easier? I don't know. I don't know what, what it is. All I know is Liam only going in for the hug when she does something cool and now all of a sudden, like, what's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? Crashed onto my bed like a malfunctioned hard drive. I was exhausted, but I kept having Oof. nightmares. And at some point, I woke up in a cold sweat. Just then, I screamed to see a it dark shadow Liam. hovering over me, and I punched it hard. Ow! Liam, you what are you really doing here? My face. You were shouting in your sleep. I was just checking on you. Aww. And you then you punched me okay? in the face. Well, that's too much to hope for. I already know you're unhinged. Jeez, I think you've broken my nose. What, with these jelly arms? Come on, don't be a baby. A Ellie! Baby could punch harder than Ellie! Me. I'm not being a baby. Ugh. If, if, if she broke his nose and then she's like, oh, you're just a baby. No, I didn't do that. These people are horrible. I can I can't believe this uh, the way this woman talks to people. I can't believe it. You can't. You can't do that. You can't talk to people like that. Insane person. Uh, since you're finally up, let me show you what we found from that information you got. Agatha and Liam then proceeded to tell me that we didn't need to break into the vault. Apparently, they discovered a foreign delegation was visiting the embassy in two days for a big event, and the stolen key would be exchanged there. The rogue agent, Princess Leia, will be disguised as a journalist. She will be secretly handing it over to this undercover foreign- Whoa, hold on. Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I just determined something. I think I just determined something. I think My Story Animated's voice acting is all remote and they got a person who does not have a proper studio set up. Because Ellie's lines always sound so perfect. And then the person playing Agatha sounded like they were just reading lines to uh, zero millimeters away from their mic. Okay, yeah, that was not recorded in the same studio on the same microphone. The rogue agent, Princess Leia, will be disguised as a journalist. She will be secretly handing it over Way to closer this to the mic. undercover foreign- Whoa, hold on. Your ex-girlfriend's code name is Princess oh, Leia? Oh, no! Oh, now I get why you're Agent Skywalker. Agent <laughs> Cringewalker. Really Can you focus on what's actually important? Liam might recognize you, Liam, even in disguise. I can get you in the building as the kitchen staff. 
But we need to send someone else in as a guest. Oh, preferably I know a pretty harmless looking girl who can get close enough to the arms dealer to find out when the exchange is happening. I'm not sure I can. Wait. Okay. Ellie. You're a girl. You're a girl. Whoa. Gee, thanks for finally noticing. She's not a trained agent. It's too dangerous. Okay, okay. Another <laughs> prediction is coming. I know I have been wrong many times, but I'm sticking to the fact that she, uh, the ex the ex was the secretary in disguise. The, the secretary was the ex in the disguise. And now they're going to do the old switcherino. They're going to do the exact opposite. Ellie is going to go in there with a disguise, and she is going to get close to them to do the thing. And it's going to be like, whoa, you're doing the exact same thing that, that I was doing on the other side. Boom. I, man, if, if this, if this bet cashes in, I'm rich. <laughs> Gee, thanks for finally noticing. She's not a trained agent. It's too dangerous. Yeah, man. Stop putting me in danger. Yeah. You'll just be like any other guest at the event, and I'll be close by and constantly in touch with you. Please, Ellie, this is my last chance before the key leaves the country. Okay, okay. Fine. You can act like a cute, flirty girl. Right? Oh boy. I'm used to my mother throwing me at rich guys, so yeah, I More have some practice. Behavior is you about should to start. be prepared for anything. You know, once I was working the field, I had to kiss a mafia boss to distract him. It brought down his whole operation. She's not very good in that department, Agatha. Oh my I've gosh! I've seen her practicing in a mirror. That's not what I was doing! Look, I'm a pretty good kisser, okay? Well, it's an important skill any undercover agent should have. So, prove it. Prove oh, it? How? No. You could just kiss me. No dog. way. What? Like right now? Is that MSA, really necessary? You dirty Maybe dogs. she just finds you ugly, Agent Skywalker. And no, no, not at all. I think he's like the hottest guy ever. He's very good looking. That's just a fact. Then it's just your bad kissing skills stopping you, I guess. Let's hope you don't need to use them. You know what, man? Just shut up. Oh, I suddenly no. grabbed Liam and kissed him hard. He kissed me back, and my brain exploded. I've never with I've fireworks. something incredible felt uh, me. Uh, that was not half bad. It was good. Great, even. <laughs> yeah, she'll be fine. I, um. Oh I'm my gosh, Agent Skywalker, more. use the force and pull it together. Use that, that force of yours that you're always talking about and pull yourself together. Man, lame-o over here. She'll be fine. I, um, I'm gonna get some more coffee. I'm proud of you, kid. Two days later, as I was getting ready for the event, I felt sick with anxiety. Just then, someone knocked gently and Liam walked in. Yay. Wow. You clean up nice. I mean, uh, your dress is pretty. I think I'm gonna barf all over it soon. Don't be so nervous. I won't let anything happen to you. Here's your earpiece. Aww. It has a tracker in there. I'm Are just people not, not gonna see this, that Liam? earpiece? I'm not so sure about that. All right, another prediction, another prediction. She's gonna get close with someone. He's gonna go in for the smooch, move the hair, and seize the earpiece. She's wearing a wire! Boom, don't pull out the Draco. All right, that was just another, just another guess. This is another guess, just trying. Right Shadow, or right Dr. Eggman. Snooping as usual, I see. I'm just not cut out for this, Liam. I'm not so sure about that. Do you know anything about your dad, Ellie? My dad? No, I don't. It's he him! when I was just a few months old. It's him! Yeah, because he was an undercover CIA agent, too. What? Whoa. Your dad was one of the best agents in the field. We he called was him with computers. Agent Darth he's not Vader. around anymore, <laughs> but he served his country well. And finding you wasn't just a coincidence. We've been keeping an eye on you. And you proved you have his skills when you crossed every level on that treasure hunt that <laughs> we sent you. So maybe... You are meant for oh all this. Oh my gosh. It's in your blood. You, you've you met my dad? His yeah, name once. was Agent he Darth Vader. Too. He tucked my hair behind his ear and gave me a warm smile. Hey, you're not? Okay, you absolute weirdo. You absolute weirdo, Liam. Going in for a smooch and getting all like that and saying, you have your dad's eyes. That is so... So creepy. That is so creepy. Even Eggman thinks it's creepy. Even Mingus thinks it's creepy. Probably shouldn't still be smiling if you agree that it's creepy.
But, uh, okay. Yeah, yikes. He tucked my hair behind my ear and gave me a warm smile, and my heart nearly fell out of my chest. Just then, Agatha walked in, saying the car was ready. At the event, I was looking everywhere for the arms dealer, and I finally spotted him. Just then, a tall, dark girl with glasses approached him it's like and whispered something 4. in his ear, and they both started walking out of the hall. Princess Leia is on the move. I think the exchange is happening now. Follow them to see where they're going. I'll come Whoa, after you. This is like I rushed out of the hall and saw them going down a corridor. They walked to the end of it and entered the room on the left. I inched closer, and as I tried peeking through the door, I suddenly lost my balance and fell inside. And all eyes turned to me. Oh, oh no. I'm so sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Sorry, sorry. You can continue with whatever you were doing. We've seen a Not moment so like that fast, before. Girl. This this is exactly like this is exactly like what happened in another one. Where she just so happened to barge in on some illegal activities going down. It's like, uh sorry, I thought this was the bathroom. Uh I'm just a sweet girl. I don't know anything. Yeah, I don't worry about me, guys. Don't worry, there's nothing. Sorry, sorry. You can continue with whatever you are doing. Not so fast, girl. Ow, ow, that hurts. Oh. Hey, maybe it was just a what? mistake. She seems like a harmless little girl. Oh, really? Gigi, like is that why girl. she's wearing an earpiece? Boom. That? That's my hearing aid. Who do you work for? What? The I enemy. can't hear you. Look, we can't do the exchange right now. This place is probably surrounded by federal agents. Leave immediately. Yep. I will create a distraction. And you, girl, you're staying here. Sit down. I plopped my butt into a chair as the girl took out a laptop and started typing it like turns crazy. Out Liam's the evil one. You know, I'm very good at computers. You need any help? I could type faster oh, than you. I'm You're really slow. I'm just activating an explosive device linked to this laptop that will go off in five minutes and blow up half of this place. So that should create a nice distraction. What? What, what on earth was that? I don't want to. Do I rewind? Do I rewind and look at that again? What did we just look at? So that should create a nice distraction. What? What on earth? That was so weird. Oh, that was like a SpongeBob moment. You know, in SpongeBob, when it cuts suddenly to a hyper realistic, gross painting. It's horrible. It's horrible. That's what that was. But worse. But worse. Ugh. All right. I There's still time for my predictions to come true, homies. There's still time. There is still time. <laughs> I don't want to be. Listen, if I'm wrong, that means MSA did their job right. You know, if all my predictions are totally wrong, it means MSA is doing their job right. <laughs> but I still try. I'm going to still. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying to predict it every single time, people. What do you think? Do you think I, you let me know in the comments right now? Do you think I'm right? Do you? think the uh, the villain X was the secretary at his place. That's the one, that's where my money's at. That's what I'm putting all my chips in. That's the, the one prediction that I am really banking on here. My other ones can be wrong. I want that one to be right. An explosive device linked to this laptop that will go off in five minutes. Oh, we have to see it again. Oh no, place. I forgot we have to see so it again. That should create a nice oh distraction. no. What? Ah! I gotta run, babe. It was nice meeting you. Ciao. Ugh. She then ran out of the room and locked it from outside. Oh my god! Whoa. I stood frozen in panic, staring at the screen, seeing my life flash before my eyes. But then somehow, I managed to muster some courage. Okay, okay. Calm down, Emmy. I mean, Ellie, it's <sighs> just a laptop. Any software can be overwritten. Anything can be decoded. You can do this. You got this, girl. I tried everything I knew, but nothing was working. And then Liam and then burst I had a brainwave. I opened Google and typed in the website from where I downloaded the virus uh, at work. Yeah, clicked on it, and go. the screen turned red. Your system is under attack what and will be immediately destroyed now. It? Goodbye. And then the laptop Boom. went blank. And then it blows I had actually done it. Oh my god. I collapsed to the floor. And just then the door burst open and Liam pulled me into his arms. Ellie, are you okay? Leia took your earpiece, and I ended up following her instead. Oh. Did you manage to stop her? Did you get the key? Yeah, I did. What? Agatha hadn't told me before, but she'd call in the other agents to help. And I'm really glad. We needed it. Clearly. Leia's under arrest, and so's the arms. We don't even get to see this? And Liam, did you know that I just defused a very large explosive device and saved many lives? You did what? The federal agents evacuated the embassy and scanned oh, the entire yeah, building and found yeah, a device that point. had been linked to the laptop. 
You're a hero, Ellie. Seriously. Okay, wait. So you're not gonna tell me that the day was already saved. Like now. Like already. Like Liam and the other agents saved the day and we don't even get to see it. If that happened, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. I did not follow your journey this far to have the whole epic battle not happen before my eyes. Seriously. You're the smartest girl I've ever met. Oh, boy. I'm hiring you back immediately. Oh, boy. We can train you to be a field agent. That's very kind of you, but I'd actually like to go home. Yeah. Earlier today, I got a message from the Your hospital mom. that my mom's out of her coma. She's been asking for me. Oh, wow. That's great news. But you can come back once she's better, right? You know what? I don't think Whoa. so. Yeah, my dad was an agent, but I'm not meant for this life of high stress, crippling anxiety, and close calls. Yeah. I'm just an ordinary nerd who's happy behind a computer screen. Okay, no field agent. Just a desk job then. Ellie, I'm trying to say something here. I would personally like you to stick around. Oh. Maybe we can even go out for dinner sometimes. Oh. I owe you a decent meal. Listen, when someone just tells you my mom just got out of her coma, you know what you don't say? Maybe, maybe we can even go out for dinner sometime. Not the time. The number of times in this video, it's not the time is a lot. A lot of times. When someone just says their mother came out of a coma, it's like, hey, you do you. Is there anything I can do to help you? Is there anything I can do to help you right now? You don't talk about, you don't ask someone on a date. There is my life advice for the day. Don't don't do that, okay? Thank you, I'm trying to better society here. I'm trying to better the world. Maybe we can even go out for dinner sometimes. For dinner sometime. I owe you a decent meal. Look, Liam, it's not exactly a secret that I've had a giant crush on you since we met. Oh boy. The truth is, I don't have a crush on the real you because I don't know the real you and I probably My never will. My name is Xanthander. What's your real name? Liam just looked at me silently. Bruce, yeah, I thought Bruce. So. But I get it, let's go you're Bruce. meant for this life. And it suits you, but it's not for me. Just one thing, can I take this dress with me? Sure thing. It's all yours. I extended my hand and he shook it gently. Then I got into the car waiting for me and left. Back at home, Whoa. I was overjoyed to see mom doing well. And with my large paycheck, I was able to take care of all our bills Good. and Yay. then some. Oh my daughter, we're rich. Did you find rich man? <laughs> no, mom, I worked very hard for this money. And I'm in charge of the finances now. Boom. But to celebrate mom's recovery, I decided to throw her one lavish party with all her friends at Christmas. And I was trying not to zone out of a oh, very boring dude. conversation with some rich, dumb jock. Okay, Liam is obviously going to come back. I do think my prediction about the ex is not going to come true because it seems as though we've completely abandoned the previous part of the plot, which makes me very sad. Very sad. One thing we know a thousand percent for sure is that Liam is going to burst back into the scene and they'll be happily ever after at the end. We, There's no question about that. Trying not to zone out of a very boring conversation with some rich, dumb jock when suddenly the doorbell rang. It was Liam. Liam, what are you doing here? It's Norman. Norman, uh, Agent Norman? Norman. My real name. Oh, Norman! Norman! Ouch. That's not a cool name, dude. I know that. Yes, it is. Are you kidding me? Agent Nom and Jaden? Agent Nom and Jaden? Let's go. This is the GOAT. Agent Nom and Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Man, I replayed through that whole game recently. That game is so sad. Absolutely so sad, dude. Norman is a very cool name, especially for a secret agent of all things. You know, we talked about Matrix, Keanu Reeves, Star Wars, Skywalker, Agent Norman Jaden. We're tying it all together. Yes, yes, of course. These big franchises, yeah, of course. Surely they couldn't be making a Heavy Rain reference, but it is possible. It is possible and I am banking on it. Also, yeah, obviously my prediction for this came true because that was already like a 99% chance of happening. Oh, Norman. Ouch, that's not a cool name, dude. I know that. Listen, Ellie, I miss you, okay? You're crazy and you talk a lot and you're an awful singer. Bruh. There's never a dull moment with you around because you're also smart and beautiful and adorable. 
Okay. And I tried to keep a cold front because I didn't want to get too close. But despite my best efforts, I can't stop thinking about you. You're anything but ordinary. Oh my gosh. So yeah. You hacked into, into my heart. Me. And I'm willing to tell you more if you agree to go out with me. You downloaded my soul and hacked into my heart. <laughs> Ellie, you rewired my mainframe. You decoded my encryption. Bruh. I can go all day. I can go all day. <laughs> I'm here all week. Guys, I ain't going nowhere. My real name's Norman, and I'm willing to tell you more if you agree to go out with me. <laughs> I'm not even your That's type. That's pressure. Evil long legs Barbie is your type. Not anymore. Oh, what a weird thing to say. That's not Geeky how you say Jimmy that. Jimmy Arms Computer Nerd is my type now. And then he pulled me into a kiss. Does this mean you're like my boyfriend now? I like the sound of that. Can I tell my mom you're rich? Oh, I snap. am rich. Like, really rich. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that was so uh, weird. That was so weird. The things people are saying in these deep moments, terrible. I can't believe the way these people talk. This is ridiculous. Ellie, I am rich. Like, really rich. As if that's a romantic thing to say. That is so weird. I can't stand you people. I am rich. I like, am rich. really Rich. Aww. Perfect. Aww. Mom, I found a rich man. <laughs> yeah, it's MSA. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Ellie the hacker and the she found the rich man. Da -da -ba -da. All right. Well, here's my review. Here is my review. As an MSA video, I think this one gets a B plus. It was good. It was a good long story. I was in it the whole way, but man, I really thought at the beginning of this video, it was gonna become a thing where she was fighting crime in the virtual world, like with a VR headset on, like doing virtual reality stuff. And that was like the coolest concept ever to me. And so when I when it turned out that that was just like them doing an abstract animation for that part, I, the, yeah, that really disappointed me. And so for the video, I'm gonna give it a B plus. It can't be an A because man, I just realized like that how cool that story could have been and so i love you msa but for that i have to give you this but either way i still had a great time msa you are the best if you guys have not subscribed to msa you got to do it i always enjoy checking out msa as crazy as it is as terrible as some of the people are i do really really love it so shout out msa shout out ellie the dingus shout out uh no agent norman jaden and people, I gotta get out of here. This is MSA's channel. If you are not subscribed to MSA, that is a problem. You gotta do that, people. Here's the full playlist of MSA reactions. If you have not seen all these videos, make sure you have watched them. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you, in particular, will like. I will see you here. I will see you there. People, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.